You're watching MITV, McAllen Instructional Television. Good evening and welcome to the Nikki Road Gymnasium here in McAllen, Texas. I'm Mark May bringing you this uh, McAllen Instructional Television production. MITV Sports bringing you a great volleyball match here tonight. Two of the top teams in South Texas going head to head. It's the visiting McAllen Lady Bulldogs against the home team, the James Nikki Rowe Lady Warriors. Uh, Lady Warriors coming in winners of nine of their last ten. Overall, 27 wins and nine losses in district. They are six and one uh, for Mac. They come in winners of 22 of their last 24 matches, including three in a row. They've won 32 out of 37 matches overall this year. They are 5-2 and two in district. So you have a meeting of the second and third place teams in District 36A going here tonight. Rowe in second place, Mackay in third place. A Mackay victory would put them in a tie for second place, and a Rowe victory would give them a two-game cushion in second place in District 30. Of course, sitting in first place is the other McAllen team. Uh, the Memorial Lady Mustangs are 7-0 in the district. They are off tonight. We're going to introduce the starting lineups right now, followed by the National Anthem. So here we go with the introductions of the Lady Bulldogs under Coach Paula Dodge. And the Lady Warriors coached by Coach Magda Canales. Get that kind of shot. Okay. Okay. Riyada Amaya, a Rose Choir student, will sing the national anthem.
Good job by Brianna Amaya, Rowe Choir student here at Nikki Rowe High School. Uh, well, a uh, big rivalry here tonight, Mackay and Nikki Rowe. These teams have been in the playoffs uh, the last several years. Nikki Rowe advancing, in fact, all the way to the regional tournament last year. Mackay has been to the regional tournament in recent years and would like to get back there uh, this season. But first things first, we still got all these regular season matchups uh, to go. And uh, looking at Mack High, uh, they're ranked in the state. They're number 143. They're 5-1 and one on the road, 22-3 and three away from home. So a team that is very good away from their home floor. In fact, they've won 79 sets and lost only 16. That's an 83% success percentage. And like I said, they've won three matches in a row, all in straight sets, in fact. So they've won nine consecutive sets coming in. And looking at Nikki Rowe, they're ranked number 178 in the state of Texas. They've won six of seven matches at home. Their uh, set win percentage is at 72%. Uh, they did lose their last match. That was to McAllen Memorial on this floor on Saturday, September 29th. That was in three sets to none. And so they'll be looking to rebound from that loss here tonight. Both teams have stellar star players for Mackay. It'll be Lexi Gonzalez. She wears jersey number one. She's only a junior, but leads the team in kills with 436. That's about 5.3 percent. And in fact, she led the team with 23 kills when they faced Mackay back on September the 8th. That was a 3-1 Nikki Rowe victory. And then for uh, the Nikki Rowe Lady Warriors, Jacqueline Alanis is their top player. She wears number six. She's a senior, leads the team with an incredible 682 kills, averaging over eight kills per set. And against Mack High back on September 8th, she was on fire with 39 kills in four sets, averaging almost 10 kills per set in that one. So both of those uh, have their A games on here tonight. It'll be Nikki Rowe on your right, wearing the white jerseys with the dark green shorts and the gold numerals. And they've got Mackay on your left side wearing the purple and gold with the white numerals. It'll be Nikki Rowe to serve first. It's a best of five. And you play to a score of 25. Of course, you have to win by two points. And we're all set to get away. Get underway here, District 36A action between Nikki Rowe and Mack I coming to you live on the World Wide Web on McAllen ISD's Facebook page and also McAllenISD.org. And the first point you can see goes the way of the Nikki Rowe Lady Warriors. That's Lexi Gonzalez, and that's another point for Mack I. Or excuse me, a point for Mackay, and that ties it up one to one. And serving for Mackay was 15, Selena Sines, and she gets an ace right off the bat. Selena Sines, just a freshman. That was set by Alanis. And it was lifted over by Onorubia. Great dig by Onorubia. There's Gonzalez at the other end. Couldn't quite get up high enough for the kill. And that ends up being a point for Nikki Rowe. We're tied at two. Oh, great placement there. That was Gonzalez with the soft dink. And Mackay wins the serve. They're up three to two. Sierra Quisada, a senior, will now serve. That's Alanis. Good dig by Zamora. Alvinis again, and not to be denied that time. Jacqueline Alvinis. We talked about how she averages 8.2 kills per set. And we're tied at three.
That was Jewel Paloma with the uh, service. Oh, and a point for Nikki Rowe. Or correction, it was Jessica Martinez who served. Now Martinez serving again. Nikki Rowe up by 4-3. Gonzalez. It's a set by Helmkamp. That's Gonzalez. Nice dig by Onorubia. Alanis. And that goes out. It'll be a point to Mackay. We're tied at four in the first set. Gonzalez serving. Alanis. And a point for Mackay. Good play by Damaris Giannis, the senior outside hitter. And Mackay with the one point lead. Gonzalez still serving. Mackay student body getting into it. We've got a packed gym here at Nikki Rowe. Here's Alanis. And Alanis gets that one through. Valiant effort for the block by Mackay, but Alanis's power came through and we're tied at five. Rowe making a couple of substitutions. Set by Helmkamp, put over by Giannis. Oh, and a big point there for Mackay. Lady Bulldogs up six to five. Haiti Moore serving. On a Rubia, gets that one over. Helm Camp sets. Gonzalez from the back row. And a point for the Lady Bulldogs. Gonzalez of Mackay and Alanis of Rowe, both equally deadly, whether they're at the net or from the back row. So we see Moore serving. Her team up 7-5. A point for Mackay. And that was the freshman signs earning that point. And a three-point lead now for the Lady Bulldogs. And Rowe thought they were going to call timeout. They don't. Moore still serving. And that goes out. Another point for the Lady Bulldogs. They have their biggest lead. 9-5. Quick substitution for Rowe. Marina Cortez, a sophomore, comes in at the libero spot. And she plays that one. Elm Camp for signs. On a Rubia from the back. Giannis. Asalanis. Big spike there for the senior outside hitter. And Rose stymies the Mackay run. It's 9 6 now. Alanis will serve it. That was in, it's an ace. It's 9-7. Alanis leads the team with 68 aces, including that one. Alanis again, another powerful serve. Gonzalez from the back. Ona Rubia, Ona Rubia. The sophomore powers that one through. And it's 9-8 to eight now. Rowe trailing, but they have the serve. Here's Alanis. Giannis. Alanis sets that one for Honorubia. Rubia. 
Arubia again, terrific dig by Gonzalez to keep that alive. Signs finally got it over. Good end to end action here in the first set. And that goes out. Point to Mackay. That spike had smoke on it, but a little too strong. And Mackay now has a two point lead 10 8. Helm Camp serving. And that's out once again. Mackay in front now by three points. Here's Helmkamp. Oh, great play there by Sines. Sines only a freshman middle blocker, but skied up to uh, knock that one straight down, and Mackay restores their four-point lead. And now a timeout called by Nikki Rowe. We'll take a break. We'll be back with more volleyball in just a moment. And welcome back here to Nikki Rose Gymnasium. My name is Mark May. This is MITV Sports. Hope you're enjoying this volleyball action. Mackay Lady Bulldogs and the Nikki Rose Lady Warriors. It's Mackay with the service, and they lead by four here in the first set. Alanise. And it's going to be a point for Nikki Rowe. Alanise with those brutal spikes. Pulls her team with to within three points. 12-9. Oh, nice play there. That was that was Alanis, I believe. All right, take that back. I think that was Sefuentes, Samantha Sefuentes, the junior. A nice touch. And that goes out. It'll be another point to Nikki Rowe. Mackay twice has had four point leads in this first set. Elm Camp sets. Gonzalez. Giannis puts it over and a point for Mackay. Back in front by two, 13 11. Giannis will serve. Helm camp sets for Gonzalez. Perfect. Helm Camp came in leading the team with 501 assists on the season, averaging six assists per set. And that was a beautiful one there for Gonzalez. 14-11 row, or excuse me, 14-11 Mackay. There's Alanis from the back, that goes out. And for the third time this set, Mackay has their four point lead. Here's Giannis. A little bit of trouble. Four touches. And it's a five point lead. It's Giannis. Alanis from the back. Good dig by Giannis. Oh, nice. 
Nice play there by Audrey Zamora for Mackay. There's Ana Rubia, her shot blocked, but they, she keeps it alive. Alanis. That was ruled out. Fans in the gym, some agree, some disagree. But it's Rose Point. Close play on the far sideline. It's 16-12 now. Rowe serving. Helmkamp sets it up for Gonzalez. Another beautiful assist and spike by Helmkamp and Gonzalez. Five-point lead again for Mackay. This is Signs now to serve. Kai again. That was Gabby Gomez. Again with the assist to Helmkamp. And now the biggest lead of the set, 18-12. Sign serving. Great block there. Alexi Gonzalez and Haiti Moore teaming up on that one. And it's a seven-point lead now for Mackay. Signs. Alanis, and that goes out of play. Mackay wins another point. They lead it 20 to 12. At another timeout on the floor. We'll take a break. It's Mackay up 20 to 12 in set number one. We'll be back in just a moment. And welcome back to Nikki Road Gym. A quick reminder, the annual McAllen ISD Band Showcase will be this Saturday, October the 6th, starting at 7 o'clock from DQ Fan Field at McAllen Veterans Memorial Stadium. We'll see the Nikki Row, the Mackay, and the Memorial Bands all perform, starting with the Row Band at about 7.15, Mackay at 7.30, and Memorial about 7.45. Should be a good time. Come see the three stellar bands perform at the McAllen ISD Band Showcase this Saturday. And two touches by one player, and it's a point for Mackay. Now leading by nine, just four away from taking set number one. Sign still serving. Gonzalez. Good dig by Rowe. Alanis gets it back over. Yadis sets. And a big point there for Nikki Rowe. Marina Cortez, the sophomore, earning that point for her team. Rowe trailing 21-13, but they've got the service. Fans chanting, Warrior Nation. Gonzalez, Gonzalez, the big point. Back high now within three points of taking set number one. Cortez with the dig. Oh, but Rowe unable to capitalize. And it's now 23 to 13. Sienna Quisada serving. She's a senior outside hitter. And that was Haiti Moore. 
Big cross court winner, and Mackay one point away from taking the first set. 24 13. It's Quisada. Oh, all an ace. Oh, but that's a point to Mackay. It was out. And Mackay wins the first set 25 to 13. So we've reached the end of set number one. We'll go ahead and take a break. Be back with set number two when we come back. You're watching MITV Sports, and this is Volleyball. And welcome back to the Nikki Road Gymnasium. I'm Mark May, hope you're enjoying our volleyball action. The first set goes to Mackay, 25 to 13. They've now won 10 consecutive sets over four matches. By the way, the junior varsity match played earlier this evening also went Mackay's way, two to nothing. By the way, in addition, in addition to watching McAllen ISD videos on YouTube, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel. You can always go to McAllenISD.org to see videos. And you can also watch the MITV cable channel. That's on 1301 on your cable systems. You can always view it online by going to McAllenISD.org or you can watch channel 1301 to find out everything that's going on in McAllen ISD. I think we talked about the previous match between these two and it was just as spirited as this one. That was back on September the 8th and that was at Mackay of course and Rose snapped a 17 match win streak by Mackay by winning three sets to one. In fact, Mackay's only two losses in their last 24 matches, dating back to August, have been to either Memorial or to Nikki Rowe. <laughs> By the way, Mackay will get a rematch with Memorial on Saturday, October 13th. That'll be a noon start. And that'll be at Mackay. It's the annual Dig for the Cure match. Of course, you might have noticed a lot of pink in uh, amongst some of the student body here tonight. Some of the girls have pink ribbons in their hair. It's for uh, the month of October being Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Something a lot of McAllen ISD students have uh, combined to uh, raise awareness on for the last several years. You see that universally across all the high schools. We're ready to start set number two now. Teams have switched in. Smackey serving on the right side. Rowe receiving on the left. Second set is underway. There's Gonzalez right off the bat. <laughs> Gonzalez on her game here tonight. And Mackey up one nothing. This will be Giannis to serve. That goes out. It'll be one to one. So Nikki Rose turn. This is uh, Jewel uh, Palomo. She's a senior setter. And a point for Mackay. Uh, Mackay kill had too much smoke on it. 
I think that was Moore with the winner, and it's two to one for the Lady Bulldogs. And good play there. That was Alanis with the winner for Nikki Rowe. We're tied at two. On a Rubio with the serve. And Mackay, another big winner. It's three to two. Here's Kisada. Good dig by Onrubia, but Rowe unable to get it across, and Mackay wins the point. Here's Kisada. Alanis gets it over. Oh, big play there for Mackay. Home camp set it. And I think Moore had the win. The winning kill there. 5 2 now the score. Moore ranks third on the team with, in kills, over 130 on the season. Salanis, shot blocked, but she works it over. On Rubia, keeps it alive. Alanis, oh Alanis, a monster spike there. That was textbook. It's 5-3, row trailing but they've got the service. Martinez serving. Another winner by Moore. Moore having a great game so far. Her team up six to three. Moore just a sophomore middle blocker. And this will be Gonzalez to serve it. Another big point for the Lady Bulldogs. They lead now 7-3 here in the second set. Lady Bulldogs won the first set. Leading by four here in the second. Gonzalez serving. Palomo sets. And a point to Mackay. It's 8-3, the substitution for Rowe. We've Adriana Castro just checked in. Gonzalez to serve. And an ace there for Gonzalez. She came in. The Smack High team averaging over 3.3 3 .3 aces per set as a team. And Gonzalez, or excuse me, Alanis with a big ace there, or the big kill. And Rowe getting back on track. Cifuentes checks in, Cifuentes will be serving. Good block by Rowe, but it's a point to Mackay. Or excuse me, a point to Rowe. Yeah, Rowe did have the good block, and Mackay was the one that uh, misplayed it. So it's 9-5 now. Another good block by the Lady Warriors. And they are on a bit of a roll. Looked like uh, Victoria Enrique is the junior with that last block. Here's Cifuentes again. Gonzalez. Oh, and a point to Mackay. Mackay leading 10-6. Moore will serve. A chance to get that over. They do. 
Gonzalez blocked by Rowe, but a point to Mackay. That was a lift. Rowe called for a lift, and now Rowe wants timeout. 11-6 our score. Mackay in front in set number two. They also leading by one set to none. We'll take a break. We'll be back in just a moment. And welcome back here to Nikki Road Gymnasium. Hope you're enjoying this exciting volleyball action. Two of the top teams in South Texas. Two outstanding programs with a storied history and big traditions here in volleyball. Back eye serving, they're up 11-6 here in the second set. Alanise, shot blocked, but Rowe keeps it alive. Giannis. And they keep this alive, and Rowe again. Living on the knife's edge. Giannis, a superb spike. And Matt Guy, so smooth tonight, you could just call them butter because they're on a roll. Hmm. <laughs> Had to steal one from uh, the late Stuart Scott of ESPN. By the way, that uh, serve go, went out, so it'll be Nikki Rose point, and Alanis will be serving. Her team down 12 to seven. Terrific dig. That was Gonzalez who dug that one out. Set by Cifuentes, and a terrific play there. I believe that was on the Rubia with the kill and Cifuentes with the assists. Cifuentes came into tonight with 330 assists on the season. That's second on the team. And Nikki Rowe down just by four points right now. It's Alanis. Bulldog fans getting into it. There's Gonzalez. And Rowe unable to keep that one alive. A point to Mackay. Matty Helmkamp will serve. Cifuentes for Alanis. Giannis got it over. Alanis. Gonzalez. Played by Alanis. On the Rubia. Gonzalez. Kept alive by Martinez. Oh, point to Mackay. I think that was Signs in the middle who got that winning dink there. It's 14 to 8. Mackay by 6. Good dig by Martinez there. Oh, good play by Helmkamp. She spotted that soft underbelly and was able to win a point for Mackay. They lead 15 to eight. It's Helmkamp serving. Alvinis. That was out. It'll be a point to Mackay. Sixteen eight the score now. Helm camp serving. Yeah. 
Good dig by Helmkamp. Put over by Zamora. And a point for Nikki Rowe. That was uh, Victoria Enriquez, the junior, winning that point from the middle, that middle blocker spot. And it'll be Enriquez to serve now. Her team trailing 16 to nine. Gonzalez into the net, and that's a point for Rowe. The Lady Warriors trying to generate a run here in the second set. Now I think there's an official's timeout. A slippery spot on the floor. So Mackay took the first set 25 to 13. They lead by six here in the second set. It's a best of five match. We talked about how red hot these teams were coming in. Nikki Rose won nine of their last 10 coming into tonight. Mackay won three in a row, including 22 of their last 24. There's Enriquez. And that'll be Mackay's point. Giannis will serve for the Lady Bulldogs. Alanis, can they keep this alive? And they do. Cifuentes setting on Rubia, shot blocked, but Martinez keeps it alive. And Alanis wins the point, deflected off a Mackay player, and Rowe climbs to within six. Palomo sets. And a point for Mackay. Moore checks in for Mackay now. And signs serves. And point to Nikki Rowe. Nikki Rowe down by six. This on Rubia, the sophomore. Helmkamp sets. Gonzalez puts it over. And it's a point for Mackay. They lead 19 to 12. Quisada will now serve it. Oh, good play there. On Rubia, won the point and the assist to Palomo. Martinez will be serving. Enriquez checks in for Rowe. Gonzalez, oh, a wicked spike. Could have entered that spike in the Indy 500. Gonzalez on fire here tonight and her team up 20 to 13. And Gonzalez serving. That'll be a point to Rowe. Rowe with a couple of substitutions. Cifuentes will come in. Also, Lauren Mowbray will make her first appearance. Mowbray, a sophomore. Rowe down by six. Cifuentes serving. Alan Ace wins the point. The senior captain 
trying to will this row team back into it. Her team down five. Cifuentes. Gonzalez. Here's Martinez, gets it over. Giannis. On Rubio from the back. Cifuentes sets for Aladis. Another big point for Aladis and the Nikki Rowe Lady Warriors. It's now a four point game. Cifuentes. Giannis, and Giannis got Rowe to touch that one and win a point for Mackay. Mackay now within four points of taking the second set. They took the first set, 25-13. This set's been closer, it's 21-16 right now. Moore serving. And a good shot block by Mackay. That was Helmkamp and Sines who teamed up on that one. And a timeout called by Nikki Rowe with the score. Mackay 22, Nikki Rowe 16 in set number two. We'll take a break. Be back right after this. And welcome back. We're at Nikki Road Gym here in McAllen, Texas. Hope you're enjoying this exciting volleyball action brought to you by MITV Sports. We'll have another match for you coming up on October 23rd. That's a that's a Tuesday. And that'll be Row at Memorial. That's the end of the regular season. Helm Camp sets. Here's Gonzalez. Row down by six here in set number two. Alanis, big spike, but Mackay looks like they can keep this going. Helm Camp gets it over. Cifuentes to Alanis. Good block by the Bulldogs. Giannis, and a point for Mackay. Lady Bulldogs now within two points of claiming the second set. Here's Moore. Giannis, her shot blocked. And a chance for Rowe, they keep it alive. Gonzalez, and Gonzalez a big spike. And the Lady Bulldogs have reached set point. Moore serving for the set. Martinez puts it over. That was Mackay's point. No, no, they're going to change it to Rose point. Rose point. If that had been Mackay's point, the set would have been over. They ruled that Alanis's kill was in, therefore a point to row, and they've got the service back. Still breathing here in the second set. They're down 24-17. Alanis, we're still at set point. Cifuentes for Onrubia. And a point for Nikki Rowe. Slowly climbing back into it. They're down six. There's Alanis again. She'll have to keep this service going if Rose's gonna come all the way back. It's still set point. Giannis, her shot blocked, and Nikki Rowe wins another point. 
Mowbray getting a big piece of that one along with Enriquez. And it's 24-19. Well, Anissa's serves are difficult to deal with. She can pop it right over that net on a line drive. Gonzalez. See Fuentes plays it. Onrubia gets it over. Still at set point. Gonzalez. And that's Rose Point. Ball was ruled to have gone out. It's 24 to 20. Four consecutive points here for Nikki Rowe. Still at set point. Set by Helmkamp. They gotta get this over. And just barely. On Rubia. Got it. Can you believe it? Five points in a row and now timeout back high. Row fans screaming. It's 24-21 here in set number two. Take a break. We'll be back in just a moment. And we're back here at the Nikki Road Gymnasium. An exciting match between these two longtime rivals, both with outstanding traditions. Alani still serving. Rowe was down 24 16, but they've gotten five points in a row, the most in the match so far. We're still at set point for Mackay. Giannis. We'll have to get this over. There we go on Rubio. Good dig by, by Cifuentes. And on Rubio wins the point. Six in a row now for Nikki Rowe. It's 24-22. Alanis, the senior, still serving. Gonzalez. See Fuentes to Alanis. And another kill. An unbelievable turnaround here in the second set. Mackay still at set point, but seven consecutive points for Rowe. Here's Alanis. Mowbray got that over. Helm camp to Gonzalez. Giannis. Rowe playing their best of the match right now, but that one out. And then Mackay wins the set. 25-23. A tough loss there for Nikki Rose. They reeled off seven points in a row, but I think it will give them confidence and momentum heading into set number three. We'll take a break. Be back with the third set right after this. And we're back here at the Nicky Rowe Gymnasium, James Nicky Rowe High School. Enjoying this exciting volleyball action. Nicky Rowe, named after a McAllen High graduate. James Nicky Rowe graduated in 1956 from Mackay and served in the U.S. Armed Forces in the Vietnam War. 
and was a uh, prisoner of war for five years and then escaped from Vietnam. And uh, the city of McAllen holding a parade for him around 1969. He was one of McAllen's most revered individuals and shortly after he passed away in 1989, uh, this school was built first as a ninth grade school, then as McAllen's third high school and it was named for Colonel James Nicky Rowe. So Rowe with a connection to both of these schools and both of these schools doing their schools proud here tonight. Mackay has taken the first two sets, 25-13 and 25-23 be interesting to see how this third set takes off because Rowe's confidence had to be lifting with every touch toward the end of the second set. They scored seven points in a row all against set point before finally succumbing to the Lady Bulldogs. I'm sure Coach Paula Dodge reminding her Lady Bulldogs right now that hey they've got the momentum for the moment we need to dig deep and come back in this one. Don't rest on your loyals being up two sets to none. But you're going to have to earn it if you want to beat Nikki Rowe in their own gymnasium. Nikki Rowe, the district champion from last year, came into tonight in second place in the district. Mackay in third place. Memorial in front right now at 7 0 to lead the district. More than likely, all three programs will be going to the playoffs. Once again, I think it's been something like 10 consecutive years that all three McAllen teams have made the playoffs in volleyball. All three have stellar programs. It'll be Rowe on the right side, Mackay on the left. Rowe serving to start the third set. So we're underway. Been an entertaining match so far. And Rubia gets that over. Here's Gonzalez. Oh, a lovely dig there by Alan Ace. And Signs wins the first point of third set. So Signs puts her team up 1-0 and she'll be serving. Helm camp sets for Gonzalez. And Rowe got a piece of it, but unable to keep it alive. And it's 2 nothing. Signs still serving. Gonzalez. And I think Rowe touched that. They did. It hit the floor anyway. And it's a 3 nothing lead for Mackay. In the first two sets, Mackay was able to grab the lead and hold on to it ultimately. They seem to be following that same pattern here in the third set. The row earns that point, and it's three to one. A wet spot on the floor, they had officials timeout. So on Ribia is cleared to serve it. Good block by Rowe. Gonzalez, oh my goodness. Could almost hear the boom when that one uh, broke the sound barrier. It's four to one. And a service by Kisada. Alanis puts that over. Oh, great dive by Alanis to keep that one alive for Rowe. And another block by Nikki Rowe. Both teams playing with determined action right now. And Mackay, the block. That was Moore and Helmkamp. 
It's five to one. Other officials time out. They dry up a wet spot. And this will be Quesada to serve again, a 5-5 senior. A spot on the row side too. By the way, uh, in football, Mackay will be on the road this Friday, October the 5th. They'll be playing at Mission against the Mission Eagles. Nikki Rowe will be at home, and they'll be playing host to the La Jolla Juarez Lincoln Huskies. Both those games kicking off at 7.30. And uh, we'll have the row game for you on football night in McAllen. Pre-game show starting at about 7.10. You'll be able to watch the pregame show. You'll be able to listen to the game as a podcast. UIRL rules don't allow us to bring you the game live on a Friday night. And then once the game ends, it'll be uploaded and you can watch it on video. Gonzalez. Gonzalez, another big spike. And the Lady Bulldogs lead it 6-1. to one. Here's Quesada. And that'll be a point to Nikki Rowe. And it'll be Jessica Martinez, the junior, to serve it. Alanisa's shot blocked. Great play by Helmkamp and Moore once again. 7-2 for Mackay. It's Gonzalez. Put over by Giannis. Played by Onrubia. Alanis. Gonzalez. And that'll be a point to Nikki Rowe. 7-3 now. A couple of substitutions for the Lady Warriors. A little bit of perspiration or condensation on the floor. Is that an official's timeout. Now Sequent is cleared to serve. That'll be a point to the Lady Warriors. Now uh, they trail by three, seven, four. Cifuentes. Alanis. Terrific dig by Zamora. Alan eight and Giannis. Giannis a big play. The outside hitter comes through and it's eight to four. Giannis stands only five four but has a superb vertical leap. As Moore will serve it. Good dig by Martinez. It's Giannis. Out of Alanis. That was put over by Quisada. Oh, Alanis, a huge spike, but Gonzalez ready for it. And that one in. It's another point. One by Alanis and the Lady Warriors. They're down by three. Zamora will check in at the Libero spot for Mackay. Alanis will be serving for Nikki Rowe. Last time she was serving at the end of the second set.
She helped earn seven consecutive points for her team. Giannis. Alanis. Helm camp setting, Giannis. It's a good dig by Alanis. Oh, and a point won by Nikki Rowe. I think that was on the Rubia who put it over, and it's eight to six. Rowe was down six to one at one point here in this third set. Foul scored Mackay five to two over that span. Now make it 5-3, a point there by Signs. And Mackay back in front by three. Alexa Ramirez, a junior outside hitter, will check in for Mackay. Helm Camp will serve. On Rubia. Oh, nice play by On Rubia. It's 9-7. On Rubia came into this game with uh, over 200 kills. Second on the team in kills, only to Alanis. 9-7 our score right now, and Rick is serving. Oh, major league spike by Alanis. A touch by Mack Eye. So it's nine to eight now. Rowe was down by five earlier in this set. Now they have a chance to tie. Sindrikas. The yeah, point to Mackay, and they Mackay leads it by two as Giannis will serve. Great block by Mackay. I think that was Moore who got all of that one. Or excuse me, Gonzalez got all of that one. And Giannis will serve it. Her team up by three. That goes out and it's row by two now. And Rowe will have the serve. Two new players subbing in for Nikki Rowe. Including uh, Sofia Igareta, a senior middle hitter. That's Mackay's point. If it went off row and then out of play. The row captain asking for an explanation on that one. The call stands, it's Mackay's point. They lead 12 to nine. Here's Signs. And another point for Mackay. Now 13 to nine as Signs will serve. Alanis, oh. Terrific spike by Alan Ace. Great exhibition of volleyball we're seeing here tonight, especially between these two Titans, Alan Ace of Rowe and Gonzalez of Mackay. Mackay leading by three, but Rowe has the serve on Rubio. Gonzalez, and a point to Mackay. And it's 14-10. Mackay makes a substitution. Kisada will check in, she'll be serving. We're in set number three, Mackay up, has taken the first two sets. As Rowe earns a point there, and Rowe will get the serve back. But Rowe up against the wall right now, having to win the last three sets if they're going to come back and win this match. 
And Gonzalez winning the point there for Mackay. Restores Mackay's four point lead. Mackay, in fact, has won 11 sets in a row over their last three plus matches. So they've been playing very well of late. That goes out, and it'll be another point for the Lady Bulldogs. Sixteen, eleven. It's Gonzalez serving, and that'll be a point to Nikki Rowe. As Cifuentes serving for the Lady Warriors. Home camp sets for Giannis. Alanis, shot blocked, but Rowe keeps it alive. Oh, great play by Alanis. Just to kind of place that one toward the back corner and win the point for her team. Rowe came into tonight in second place in the district. Mackay in third place. Memorial in first place. And Gonzalez winning that point. Mackay up 17-13 in set number three. If Mackay wins tonight, they'll move into a second place tie with the Lady Warriors. And they'll have split their season series. Rowe winning the first match between these two on September the 8th. Got a shot block. Mackay keeping it alive. It's Mowbray. Terrific dig by Mackay. It's Alanis. Good play there. And Sines gets it over. Alanis again with a perfect little dink. Win the point for Nikki Rowe. By the way, it was uh, Quesada for Mackay who had that terrific dig a few touches back. Couldn't quite see her number at the time, but she uh, kept, kept it alive for Mackay for a little bit be before it was eventually won by Nikki Rowe. And Rowe now with the serve, trailing 17-14. That's Alanis. That'll be a point to Mackay. It's 18 to 14. Now Helm Camp serving for Mackay. And that goes out. And now it's 19 to 14. Helm Camp. Cifuentes sets for Onrubia. Giannis is shot, blocked, and uh, a good point there by Nikki Rowe. That was Mowbray got a piece of it, along with Enriquez. And the Lady Warriors have 15 points. A substitution for Nikki Rowe. We're going to bring in... Uh, Looks like Brianne Morales. She's a sophomore. This is her first appearance in the match. Oh, terrific dig there by Zamora. But it ends up being an ace for Morales. So row down by just three now. 19 to 16 here in set number three. It's a must-win set for Nikki Rowe. Gonzalez. Here's on Rubia. And a point for the Lady Warriors. Lady Warriors coming on strong again here at the close of the third set, just as they did late in the second set. They're down by two, 19 to 17. Mackay up two sets to none. Morales serving. 
Here's Giannis. And another big block by Nikki Rowe. Mowbray and Victoria Galindo getting a piece of that one. And it's 19 to 18. Row with a chance to tie it up. On Rubia. Can they keep this alive? Gonzalez from the very back, it's gonna be short. And we're all tied up. Rowe has trailed for virtually the entire third set, but they've managed to come back and tie it now at 19. Five points in a row for Nikki Rowe. They came up just short after a big comeback in the second set. Can they close out this third set and keep the game alive? On Rubia, played by Zamora, then Helmkamp. Gonzalez. There's Giannis. On Rubia. Gonzalez. Oh, terrific dig by Cifuentes. Oh, but two touches, and it's a point to Mackay. They regain the lead, 20 to 19. Five points away, not only from the set, but the entire match. Good dig, dig by Morales. Alanis sends it forward. Helm Camp with the dig. Signs. Oh, great dig from the back row. I think that was Morales. Morales again. Wow. Mackay ends up winning the point, but some spirited play by both teams here. And it's 21 to 19. Tremendous spirit and pride exhibited by both these teams. Giannis serving. I think we had a player coming from the back into the front. They've awarded the point to Mackay and now have awarded a timeout to Nikki Rowe. So Mackay within three of taking the match. We'll take a break, be back in just a moment. And we're back here at Nikki Rowe Gymnasium, the Nikki Rowe Lady Warriors and the Mackay Lady Bulldogs. Head-to-head -head volleyball action. At stake is a, a hold of second place in the district. Regular season ends on October 23rd. In fact, our next webcast will be October 23rd. That'll be Nikki Rowe against Memorial. That match will be at Memorial. Another point won by Mack High. And it's now 23 to 19. They're two points away from taking the match. We're in set number three. Coach Dodge urging her team on. Telling them to maintain their focus as Yana serves. Here's Alanis. That's out, and we're at match point. Match point here in set number three. Giannis serving. 
on Rubia. On Rubia again. Good dig by Giannis. Gonzalez, and there it is, it's over. Mackay wins it. Three sets to none, 25-13, 25-23, and 25-19. Three tough competitive games. Mack High winning all three here on the road tonight. And Nikki Rowe has dropped two in a row after having won nine straight. So Nikki Rowe falls to 27 and 10 on the year. Mack High is 33 and five on the year, wins their fourth in a row and their 23rd of their last 25 matches. In district play, they're both tied for second now at six and two. And the two teams have split their season series. Rowe won the earlier matchup at Mack High and Mackay winning tonight on Nikki Rowe's home floor. So hope you enjoyed it. And we'll have our next match on October 23rd. By the way, the next match is for these two teams uh, for Mackay on Saturday, October 6th. They'll be at home against the Mission Eagles. That'll be a noon start. And for Nikki Rowe, their next match will be at La Jolla Juarez Lincoln this Saturday, October the 6th. That'll be a three o'clock start. So come on out and support these two teams. They're both stellar and they're both headed to the playoffs, both of them hoping to make a deep run. Hope you enjoyed it. Once again, Mackay winning three sets to none over Nikki Rowe. For MITV Sports, I'm Mark May saying good night from Nikki Rowe Gymnasium.